And close your eyes and focus on your breath. Try to make this your default mode, where the mind goes back when it doesn't have any other responsibilities. Make this your home. The mind needs a safe place to stay, because otherwise it gets attacked by things coming in from the, through the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, the body. It has to deal with this, deal with that. It's constantly working to make sense out of things, to figure out what needs to be paid attention to, what can be ignored. It's like a bureaucracy there in your nervous system. Some messages get sent up all the way, other messages get dealt with on a lower level. And it's a fair amount of work. At the same time, it's with the mind wide open to things like this. Anything can come in. This is why, as in John Lee's example, he says, you've got a home, you've got to learn how to open and close your doors. Who do you want to let in? Who do you want to keep out? So right now when you're meditating, you open up only a few doors. You open up your nose. While you listen to the Dharma talk, you open up your ears. So you don't even have to have, to have that opened up if you decide you just want to stay with the breath. That's fine. But the important thing is that you have some time to be by yourself and you have some shelter so that you're not exposed to everything that's coming around. Otherwise the wind and the rain and the snow or whatever, and there's all the issues of the world come in. And then they tend to stay. One of the nice things about living here at the monastery is we don't have movies or TV. And occasionally, when you go out, you find yourself exposed to these things, and the images stick with you for days. And this is just you know, one or two images, five minutes maybe, whatever. And what is it like for people who have the TV on all the time, the internet on all the time, watching old movies all the time? It's a huge clutter in there. So you want to have some time to close things off and clean things out. Make this your home, and let in only what needs to be let in. Let out only what good things should be let out. And as for the unskillful things, just dispose of them. Make sure you keep your doors and windows well under your control. Say things, do things, think things that are useful. Okay, that's going out through the doors. And pay attention to things outside that are going to be useful. That's letting the right things in. Otherwise, keep everything closed, because you need your rest, you need your strength. This is not an easy world to live in. But you don't have to suffer from it. That's the good message of the Buddha's teachings, is that you can learn how to keep your mind under control. And when the mind is under control, then nothing outside can harm it. Nothing inside can harm it. That's when you're truly safe.